ACG. Katie for ACG and B9X. Hey, good morning. You got back from South Florida. Okay. Uh, can you stand by about 15 seconds? I'm going to uh, uh, cycle the uh, NX Core service. That should bring your repeater back up. Thanks, Katie for ACG. Service restarted. Hey, yes, sir. It certainly is. I am operating through that repeater right now, and you came through just fine. So uh, we're back in business. Uh, just also know that I've been uh, having a conversation offline with N4PK, and uh, we're talking about implementing some sort of a dynamic DNS uh, down here so that uh, this problem goes away. Yeah, I was thinking about something uh, along those lines myself. I do subscribe to Dynamic DNS, and I've got a couple of uh, spare domain names that I'm not using. So if it comes down to it, we can probably figure out what's down there. Yeah, he uh, suggested that uh, there's a piece of software that I could put up on uh, a computer that uh, I've got here that stays on almost all the time, except when there's a major power outage like we had earlier this week or last week. And uh, then he said we could put uh, something into uh, the A record for uh, one of our domains, and then that would automatically keep things updated and rock and roll. So... Uh, that's uh, that's where that's at. Uh, we might also uh, uh, be making a move on his repeater as well. Something I'll talk with you about offline. Okay. Yeah, if you decide to put him on that, just uh, send me the details and uh, I can get him added in. Um, a lot of traveling coming up. I'll be in Denver this time tomorrow. Um, place else the week after that. So uh, going back into uh, Road Warrior mode for the uh, the, the near term. Uh, Roger that. Uh, uh, Miss some of your audio there. I don't know what happened. Uh, you just kind of dropped out uh, both on Verna and on uh, the local repeater here. So it uh, was a bit error rate issue or or what? Well, you missed the bomb cyclone. So I guess that was a that was a good thing. Hopefully, uh, things are returning to normal out there. Well, it did me a favor because the uh, the base at Arapahoe Basin is still at 76 inches. It could possibly get 80 by the time I get there. So, uh, uh, should be should be a fun time uh, on the snowboard there. Uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe Thursday afternoon if my coworker gets in uh, town fast enough. I uh, pick him up. Thursday morning, that was the day we were originally supposed to go out there, and then I rescheduled my uh, trip to Monday uh, because a couple of our uh, jobs uh, ended up uh, you know, uh, happening right about that time, so I was able to uh, put work and play together. Well, it sounds like you're going to have enough snow. Uh, that doesn't sound like it's going to be the issue. <laughs> you just don't need too much snow so that uh, you can actually get there and, and do so without driving for four hours uh, on roadways that otherwise you'd, the trip would take you, you know, an hour and a half. Yeah, we're going to drive up from the airport right away on Thursday. And um, Arapahoe Basin is just below uh, uh, the summit of Loveland Pass. And uh, we'll be staying in uh, Silverthorne about 15 minutes away. Uh, so uh, the ski resort is you know, right about uh, 11, 12,000 feet, and Silverthorne's uh, about 9,500. Sounds like you have a plan, and that's a good thing. So, um, looks like uh, we are going to be moving forward. Uh, stand by one. And another one of those doggone frogs in my throat. Looks like we're going to be moving forward with an APRS experiment out at Riverview uh, just as soon as we can get all the pieces and parts together. Um, PK's got a, a new router uh, in route, and uh, I've got uh, KQ4KX uh, spinning up one of the weather three and ones. So uh, we may be able to get that thing done here within the next couple of weeks. And who knows, maybe get the new weather instrument package uh, installed out there, and that'd be a good test for it. And probably just in time for the uh, summer storm season. Yep. <laughs>
All right. Well, very good. Well, I've got a couple of things that I need to do today, so I better get back at it. And uh, it's good to talk with you and uh, good to hear you out there. And uh, are you taking your radio gear with you to Denver? Yeah, I might bring something. I don't know how much time I'll be able to use it. The uh, work days will be uh, start early and late. Um, but I'll try to have something with me just in case. Well, we know how those work days uh, go. <laughs> we just came off of a couple of them. Uh, you get on the road at 5.30 in the morning and, you know, drive nine hours. And, you know, it, uh, it, but it's all part of the territory and, you know, rock and roll. All righty, well, safe trip out there. Uh, enjoy the snowboarding, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll hear you on the net Wednesday evening. 73 and B9X. Yeah, I'll certainly check in if I can. The uh, reflectors are back up. Uh, 1200 is up. The uh, uh, Ian operates that, and uh, he had a DNS issue on uh, three of his reflectors. That's since been corrected, and they're all uh, back up and running again. So uh, we are at uh, full strength at this point. 7-3, have a good morning, 84 ECG.